Ohio has become the 24th state in the country to legalize cannabis. I never thought I would hear myself say that. I grew up there, and it's an amazing day for everybody I know. Still in Ohio, congratulations. O-H, hi, no. Say it with me, Ohio. That's a new way to say it. Ohio voters approved a measure legalizing recreational marijuana on Tuesday, defying Republican legislative leaders who had failed to pass the proposed law. Passage of Issue 2 makes Ohio the 24th state to allow adult cannabis use for non-medical purposes. There are now more people by population living in states that have legal cannabis than those that are not, meaning more people live where cannabis is legal than where it's not legal right now. That's an awesome flip for the country for once. Some positive news. Marijuana is no longer a controversial issue, said Tom Heron, a spokesman for the Coalition for Regulate Marijuana Like Alcohol. Ohioans demonstrated this by passing state issue two in a landslide. Ohioans are being extremely clear on the future they want for our state. Adult use marijuana, legal and regulated. They want more than that, but we'll start there. The new law will allow adults 21 and over to buy and possess up to two and a half ounces of cannabis and to grow plants at home. That's one thing I really, really care about is people being able to grow at home and be able to supply themselves in the best way they know how to grow. A 10% tax will be imposed on purchases to be spent on administrative costs, addiction treatment, municipalities with dispensaries and social equity and jobs programs supporting the industry itself. The election's outcome represents a blow to GOP lawmakers, Republican Governor Mike DeWine, and business and manufacturing organizations concerned about its impact on workplace and traffic safety. But as a citizen-initiated statute, the law is subject to change. This is important. Republicans who remain opposed to it in the legislature are free to make tweaks to the law or even repeal it, though the political stakes are higher now that the voters have approved it. They approved it overwhelmingly. Uh, passed by a large majority. Among concerns raised by opponents that lawmakers may revisit is the measure's tax structure, which earmarks none of the earnings for Ohio counties that administer social services programs directed at drug use, addiction, and other issues that could rise due to issue two's passage. So they want money directed at drug use, addiction, and other issues that could rise. I mean, they already have it. They already have. It's a big, huge opioid state. They already have drug addiction. Um, I want to start there. The fight is not over. Smart approaches to marijuana action president Kevin Sabat said in a statement. He called on state lawmakers to eliminate provisions of issue two that allow for commercial sales, advertising, and production at a minimum. Republican Ohio Senate still fighting the good fight, right? Still, Still fighting, even though the people overwhelmingly passed it. Republican Ohio Senate President Matt Huffman said lawmakers may also reconsider, quote, questionable language, that's probably open to interpretation to whatever they want it to be, regarding limits on THC, the compound that gives marijuana its high. There are more than just that that do that, but that's what everybody thinks if you don't know anything about cannabis, although it is true. This statute was written by the marijuana industry and should not be treated as a cash grab for their cash crop at the expense of a state trying to emerge from an opioid epidemic, he said in a text sent by his spokesperson. So <laughs> his spokesperson sent it for him. Literally, that's what they just said. And uh, I mean, that's they all do that, but it's kind of crazy that he doesn't even have to know anything in the issue. They just answer for him. But these are the times we live in. For the coalition to regulate marijuana like alcohol, voter approval uh, marked the culmination of the proposal's years-long fight to become law. They have been fighting for a while. It was on the ballot, uh, I think back in 2016 or 2020, uh, to become legal, and they shot it down uh, because it would have created a monopoly. So people do read read the fine print if uh, you provide them with the information. They probably read more fine print than the politicians, but I digress. GOP Secretary of State Frank LaRose first submitted petitions to the Ohio General Assembly on behalf of the coalition in January 2022, triggering a four-month countdown for lawmakers to act. I guess they probably won't. Republican legislative leaders didn't. There you go. And lawmakers asserted the group's petitions arrived too late for the 2022 ballots. A lawsuit and settlement ensued, which the group agreed to wait until this year. Scott 
Milburn, spokesperson for the opposition campaign Protect Ohio Workers and Families, called Tuesday result disappointing. He said the debate now shifts to the state house. This ticking time bomb crafted in secret by a Columbus law firm will now be cracked open by the legislator in the full light of day so they can diffuse it in an open public process before it blows up Ohio's face. Okay, why don't you do that with every bill you pass? If you're going to start here, why don't you put all the rest of them in there? That's just my opinion. Why start with this one? LeafLink, a large wholesale cannabis marketplace, commended Ohio residents on approving Issue 2 and urged lawmakers to promptly enact the law as passed, probably because they have a stake in it. This vote presents a tremendous opportunity for the state where legal adult use sales are projected to exceed a billion dollars annually. Policy Director Rodney Holcomb said in a statement, This move puts Ohio in league with 23 other states that have taken this significant stride forward. We have witnessed firsthand the positive impact of legalized cannabis, including job creation, tax revenue for vital government services, and unique business opportunities for entrepreneurs. All the above is true. I am so happy for everybody I know in Ohio. I'm so thankful that they get to experience what I have and what a lot of other people have, which is legal cannabis. You don't have to go to Circle K or behind a Kroger or call your dealer anymore. You can just go buy it. I'm glad they get to grow it at home. Shout out Ohio. Very happy day for Ohio. O-H-I-O. Uh, Ohio University, not Ohio State. Tell me what you think about it. Would you change the law? Do you agree with the passage? What would you do different besides go visit Ohio now and do everything you can do there in a weekend? Stay blessed.